Every founder of a startup company has a story about what inspired the big idea. But none, I venture to say, has a story quite like the one you're about to hear. An undercover CIA officer working in some of the world's most dangerous places, now back home safe and running the hottest pajama company around. NBC's Maggie Vespa has her extraordinary true story and an exclusive TV interview in our Sunday Spotlight. Good job. In a sun-drenched living room in suburban Chicago, a decades-old government secret I mean, hidden we... behind carefree smiles in family photos. Feel this. Fashion Feel entrepreneur this. Emily Hikade now ready Hikade. to share her story. You had a prior career, I'll just say. What was that? Oh, you're going to make me say it. A career so secretive, she struggles to discuss it. I worked as a case officer for the CIA. How did it feel to say it? Not great. Years of posing as an average American family in war zones around the world don't fade fast. Hikati's husband, Christopher, also worked for the CIA. The couple's four sons, though, kept in the dark. What did they think your job was? Diplomats. We work for the embassy. In reality, work put their lives in grave danger. We're the ones who spot, assess, develop, and recruit clandestine sources. I do remember going to a meeting, and there was a possibility that the person I was meeting with might be wearing a suicide vest. But any fear was countered by a drive to serve her country. A Wisconsin native with a love of languages, Hikade learned Arabic after September 11th and signed up for posts across East Africa and the Middle East. I was going to a very important meeting uh, in the middle of the Indian Ocean, and I was on a single prop plane, and there was a storm, and the plane started going out of control, and it started spinning sideways, heading toward the water. And I had three little kids at home. I've given a lot for my country at that point. And, I, and that's where you realize I think my kids needed me more. Nearly a decade ago, Hikade's time in the CIA was done. This is the holiday collection. Her new mission, sleepwear. From the CIA to pajamas. Yeah, natural pivot. <laughs> Hikade launched Petite Plume from an undisclosed location in East Africa and sales soared with celebrities buying in like Gwyneth Paltrow and Prince George, who wore the PJs during a 2016 meeting with then-President Obama. That was incredible. That was something. We were still such a new company. Since then, the family has moved back to the U.S. Christopher retiring, too, now able to share their story. See? <laughs> yeah, including only recently with their kids. Is it something that you're proud of your parents for? Yes, very, yeah. What are you proud of? Just everything, the, how far we traveled on, on this earth and everything they've done for me. Hikade's past life, a reminder of what matters most. The world is a big and beautiful place and filled with so many different kinds of people. But when you scrape away the differences of what we wear and how we dress, we're all the same. We all want what's best for our kids. We all want a safe place to raise them. Seven. In the name of family, decades of cover now officially lifted. For Sunday Today, Maggie Vespa, Chicago. What a story. I feel a movie coming. Maggie, thanks so much for bringing it to us. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.